All these people are waiting to die. Picked up from the most desperate of situations, they've been brought to this shelter known as the home of the dying in Kolkata. Many have critical illnesses and no one to look after them. This place run by Mother Teresa's missionaries of charity guarantees them meals and a place to stay until their end. But although this was her most famous project, it was also the most controversial. This man was brought here in the early hours of the morning. He's in pain, but his condition is only treated with some oxygen. There are no doctors around to help him. You know, he get all the care here. Then why we have to take him to hospital and he die on the way or he will die in the hospital. So let him die comfortably in mother's lap. However, this treatment of the sick and weak has been heavily criticized. Some suggest Mother Teresa romanticized poverty and suffering, but didn't do much to tackle it. This is Kali Ghat, the site of one of Kolkata's most holiest Hindu temples. It's also a popular place for the poor to gather and beg for alms. And it was here behind me that Mother Teresa started a home for the dying. For the thousands of Christians, Muslims and Hindus living on the streets of Kolkata, it didn't matter which faith she belonged to, for them, Mother Teresa was their saint. If the home of the dying is for those waiting for their end, this is a place for those who want to live. A hospital run by a group of German volunteers inspired by mother's example. Doctors here treat malnourished children and those suffering from extreme physical and mental disabilities in Kolkata slums for free. Dr. Elizabeth is popular with her patients. She says people here are treated out of love regardless of religion. Our organization doesn't make any effort to convince someone for a Christian to become a Christian or something like this. We don't do it. We respect the believing of everyone and let him be like he is. And their work is impacting lives. Mariam's one-month-old daughter suffered painful fractures on both her legs during childbirth at home. Unable to afford treatment, she came here with Rehana. The doctors at the state hospital refused to treat my baby, as I didn't have enough money. When these doctors came to my neighborhood and told me about the place, I immediately came. While a hundred years of Mother Teresa's birth is celebrated and her work debated, her real lasting legacy will be the spirit she left behind to remember those most forgotten. Prerna Suri Al Jazeera, Kolkata.